sister did the DS surgery here. And she, about three years ago, I lost my mom to, sorry, um, obesity related causes. And I wasn't going to do that. I'm a registered nurse. And when I went down there, everything was clean. The nurses were wonderful. I felt safe the entire time from the time that I was picked up at the airport to the time I was dropped off. And we actually, kind of a funny story, we, um, I, we went to Anaheim afterwards. My family went to Disneyland. <laughs> and we went to, I slept the first day in the hotel. The next day my husband pushed me around Disneyland. And then the next day, I actually went on Small World, Small World, and and um, you know, like Haunted Mansion, <laughs> so, the easy rides. But I've have not had any pain ever, and maybe I'm different than other people. But I bounced back from surgeries pretty good, and I my highest weight was 297, and I'm 177. Wow. very happy with my decision to go with Mexico Bariatric. I'm probably one of three nurses that I know have come down to Mexico and have surgery and I have to tell you the nurses were wonderful. The doctor's assistant came to the hotel and checked up on me. I never felt for my safety ever had any issues whatsoever when I was in Mexico ever. I felt safe the entire time. Um, when I was at the hospital, I'm going to tell you from my uh, nurse point of view, everything was clean. The staff was wonderful. I never, I, I was a little nauseated, but honestly, they came in and took care of my nausea problems. I felt good. And um, I, I was borderline diabetic before, not anymore. <laughs> I have people come up and touch my face now. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you have bones. <laughs> I can't believe I have bones. I look at myself in the mirror and go, oh my gosh, I have a bone. <laughs> so, um, but while I was down there, I, like, um, I ran into Tammy and her family, Tamara and her family, and you kind of become like this cute little family while you're there and you get to know each other. She's from. Uh, here as well and we became friends on Facebook and it's really nice I changed my lifestyle like I have my Fitbit and, uh, yeah Fitbit competitions between the two of us and and uh, she's kicking my butt right now <laughs> but that's okay but you change your lifestyle and you become a lot more healthier and you choose to make different choices and with me having uh, the DS you learn really quick if you cheat it's not a good thing. And um, out of five of us girls uh, growing up, uh, we are all obese. And two of us have had surgeries. And my one sister told me that she, uh, mind you, my mom had diabetes. And she had, um, you know, a massive heart, heart attack at the end and was on dialysis. She had renal failure. I mean, just, it was a painful, horrible death to watch her go through. And I was headed down that path. And my one sister told me that she didn't want to take vitamins for the rest of her life. And I told her that vitamins are cheaper than diabetes. So <laughs> that, was my, that was my decision. But that's, I mean, I'm very happy I, I went with, with Mexico Bariatric. And yeah. Well, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Why did you choose to do the DS? Um, yeah, okay, I, this is kind of a crazy thing. I. My company that I work for would only cover the lap band. So, and nurses, we work three twelves, more like thirteen to fifteen hours. Last night I did an eighteen-hour shift, so uh, so I'm a little tired. Um, but uh, we do crazy hours, but we only work three days. I my company would only cover the lap band, and so I went and got another job, and I was working three twelves. Uh, ish <laughs> um, there and three at my other place I waited for their insurance and they denied me and I appealed it and they denied me and the second time they denied me I went outside I called my husband and I cried hysterically because I'm something I really wanted 
I didn't want to end up like my mom. And, um, and my mom was a pretty awesome lady. I just couldn't die like her. And so I cried and called my husband. He's like, and he knew someone that had gone to Mexico to have the surgery. And I said, he goes, we'll figure it out. Just start researching it. I said, okay. So, but before that, I was going to see a surgeon here in Utah. And um, I had gone through their, their entire conference. And my sister had the DS. And I thought, well, that's what I want. So, and Dr. Ponce de Leon did my surgery. It was great. So, but I, you know, I've heard so much about the other doctors. It didn't matter. It's kind of just why I'd already had my heart set on and picked. So, yeah. but um, it would have been twenty-seven thousand dollars here in Utah without insurance, <clears throat> and that didn't even cover if there was complications. So, I'm happy I did it. Yay.